lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim.
Well, good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us on this fine Lord's Day. Uh, this is the day the Lord hath made for us to rejoice and to be glad in it. No matter what we feel, no matter what we're going through, no matter the challenges before us, this is the day that he has made for us to rejoice and to be glad. So, we, of course, we want to welcome you to the Loretta Petit Show, Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. Amen, amen, and amen. So on today, I want to share with you um, a very special guest. But before I get to that guest, I do want to uh, take this time to say thank you for your continued support. To remind you, if you'd like to connect with me, you can simply go to LorettaReviews at gmail.com. That's LorettaReviews at gmail.com. And a scripture I want to focus on for a brief moment as we go into prayer it's Acts chapter 2, verses 46 and 47. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. It is God's word. And I'm grateful um, for his word. It is the lamp to my feet and the light to my path. Uh, I'm going to ask my guests, if you're holding, that you would put yourself on mute for a quick moment. We're going to God in prayer. Father, we come right now to seek you to say thank you for being all that you have been to us and helping us, oh God, to be as good of a person, human being, as possible. Dear God, we know that we can't please all the people all the time, but God, we want to please you each and every day of our lives. So we surrender to you, Lord God. Clean us up, purge us. Help us, oh God, to have a heart that's concerned about doing the right thing and most of all doing your will, Lord God, for each and every individual that we encounter. Bless the broadcast today. Bless, oh God, my producer and all those connected with this podcast. We give you the glory. Bless my guests and everyone connected to her. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and thank God. So, Kimmy Kim, I give you a shout-out today, my awesome producer. Thank you, woman of God, for all you do. She is the founder of the Elation Magazine. I do want you to continue to support her and, of course, to intercede because we are God-fearing people. Amen. This is June the 18th. It is National Sushi Day and National Go Fishing Day. Tomorrow, of course, is a big, big, big day in the African-American community. We dare not miss it. We want you to observe tomorrow. However you observe your emancipation, it is Juneteenth Day, Freedom Day. And this is the day, that would be the day, rather, in 1865, that General Gordon Granger, he would sign those freedom papers right there at Galveston, Texas, and we call it Juneteenth Day. So all around the nation, the diaspora, we are celebrating, observing in our own way, Juneteenth, our Freedom Day. So keep that in mind, and don't ever forget, amen, those things that need to be observed, need to be talked about in your family, handed down from generation to generation. It's so important that we keep our narrative going as to where we came from so that we would be sure not to return. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so without any further ado, I'm going to bring forth my guest today. I am honored to share with her. Uh, we had uh, some very, very tender moments at a very hard time in her life. Um, but, you know, she is resilient, and she's trusting God every step of the way. She is an author, a former teacher, a recipient of the Newsom Award in 2016, the mother of the NFL player of the late uh, Marquise Hill of the New England Patriots. Uh, she authored three books, From the Cradle to the Bowl, The Linesman, and the most recent, Journey to Mount Freedom. She was also interviewed by the New York Times, HBO, NFL, the NFL Network, the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald, the Chicago Times, the Baton Rouge Advocate, and TV One. Um, I want to, of course, introduce to some and present to others uh, my very special guest and assist in the faith, none other than Ms. Sherry Hill. Hello, Sherry, and welcome to the Loretta Petit Show, Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. How are you today? I'm just fine. How are you? So glad oh, that you're having me on your show today. Thank you for uh, consenting to be here. 
um, all the big wigs. I mean, you've already been on their shows, and I'm glad that you said yes to little uh, to be on uh, the Loretta Petit show. It's just an honor to have you. Um, I was sharing that uh, we had some very tender moments uh, that was very, very interesting that connected us really uh, in a strange kind of way, a sad moment in your life uh, at the passing of your son. Uh, but just the night before that, my son met your son, and um, my son called me to tell me about the encounter and that he was able to give your son uh, his CD. My son was uh, trying to do some rapping, and um, he handed that CD to your son. And I think he ran into him again at the store the same night. He said he had already plugged it into the uh, into his thing, and he enjoyed it. He was enjoying it, but he had gone to a store mm-hmm. or whatever. And so when he passed and we had to go to the grave site, then I took the assignment. I said, well, I'll go. And I'll be with her, and I'll deposit the body, and I'll let her know that even in those final moments, he was brightening somebody's life. Uh, My son was just glad Mm -hmm. that he took the and uh, and received his CD, and also took the moment to have a conversation with him. So that was just absolutely awesome. So again, we're glad to have you today. And since then, of course, um, some other things you you have been instrumental, of course, in in showing resilience going forth and doing. But let's go back to wherever you want to begin your story, your journey, Sherry, about where you've been uh, in all of this and, and where you're going. Um, to be honest, um, it has been a long journey. And matter of fact, this year I make 13 years uh, this year. And out of all that I've been through, I'm so glad that I was a tennis a tennis member of the Greater St. Stephen family, and that prayers and prayers all over the world has brought me through all of this. Since then, my mom has passed. Who oh, was no. there to remember this? Yes. So yeah. it's been a trying moment, but you know God is able. He has brought me through. Um, and then when all this here happened, what's going on in the world today? And and when my son was raised up, we was having 400 murders a year. A lot of it was at yeah. the hands of, you know, gunfight, you know, shootout on the street, as well as all this other stuff that's going on. So it just really, it, it brings you back to, you know, Lord, what is, what is the world coming to, you know? And we got to pray more. So, you know, my son has been gone, but, you know, it's, you know, we just got to stay close to the master because that's the only one going to get us through this, you know. Uh, right. But I finished my book. I finished my first book, which I finished in 2008. My son's book, The Marquis Steel Story from the Crater to the Bowl. At the present, I am working with an actress. Um, she's been in the business about 25, 30 years. So we've been working on trying to get back and in financial back and for the movie. You know, on the book, because my son's story is similar to the blind side. It's really the opposite of the blind side. Mm-hmm. And since then, I, I just been, I just want to do some things since I got the right kind of people that's behind me. You know, this, you know, making it work. Uh, I'm working with a, a editor and a publisher out of India, and he's really doing an excellent job. You know, and he's really doing what I'm really been looking for. So I've been working. I've worked on my children's book, which I've been sitting on the story about eight years. So mm-hmm. I just had a, I had already done the illustration because I'm an artist by degree. But you know, as you get older, you get a little lazy. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I had uh-huh. lost all my paintings and my drawings of the book in the storm. So yeah. I really didn't feel like doing that over again. I didn't take. Uh, they didn't have all this when I was in college in the 70s, all this here, graphics, you know, doing this drawing. So I was able to get that done. So that made me want to finish it. And so now I'm working on my mom's cookbook, and I'm going to do mm-hmm. my little children's childhood book. So just been kind of keeping it busy. And now that all this is going on in the world, I want to start working with single moms and helping moms that have absence or either dads in their home. So that's my goal next, is just to work with families that's in need, 
try to be a support system because we, we are losing a generation of kids, not only to the hands of officers, but, you know, just on the street, period. So that's that's what I want to work to. That's true. So um, when, it, uh, when you decided to get back uh, to business and you wrote your first book, tell us a little bit about that book. Which one, Mark, the Marquis Seal story? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I started actually started writing it three days before my son's accident. Uh, oh. We were working on that house. And for some odd reason, I mean, it looked like the, the master, just a spirit spoke to me and said, now it's time. And I just sat down at my computer because my son was home. He had flew in from New England, you know, from the for the Memorial Weekend. As a matter of fact, he had signed a veteran's uh, T-shirt because they wanted an autograph T-shirt. And he said, Mom, I don't care what I'm doing. I'm always, uh, you know, recognize veterans because they go and fight for our country. Just like that. And he signed a T-shirt before he left. Uh, he went out on this jet ski. I didn't want him with a jet ski. And this company uh, salesman rode all the way to the east, followed my son to get this jet ski. And he and I had a you know, I just really told him I didn't really appreciate him selling this jet ski to my son. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you can't, if they don't listen to you. But he really yeah, got the don't jet ski. They don't listen. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You know, he had got the jet ski for the house he had purchased for me. That's what he purchased the jet ski for, for the lake in the right. bank. But because mm-hmm. of all the construction and all that, he wasn't aware of their bylaws for that area. So he decided mm-hmm. to take it out. So that's the reason why this happened. Yes, it yes. was, just, you know, just one of those things. But I actually started writing the book three days before the accident. So when New York Times and all these people came in, they just really didn't want to believe what I was saying. I actually had to show them, you know, my paperwork, <laughs> and um, yes. they found it like you really did this, you know. So, but I finished it in two thousand eight, and. Uh, that's my son and I had already talked about doing the book. So, but I just, for some odd reason, just decided to start writing it. You know, just, you know how you just be sitting down because we was working on contracts, you know, for the contract of, you know, it, all this stuff from Katrina, you know, trying to get your house back in order. You know, this is two years after Katrina. You know, it took people five years, eight years, ten years to get back. So. That's what we was doing. So I just had him to sit down that day and just got at the computer because I just got the computer because my son went underwater. And that's what happened. Mm-hmm. The title so, of the book and all the chapters typed out. Do you believe that? Mm, it just blew my mind. Mm-hmm. That's how it mm-hmm. comes sometimes. It comes like a flood, like whoosh. You get it all, right. you just go at it. Go ahead. And sometimes and I, had called my son. I had called my son before he left out the door because he was going to check the other property with the contractors. I said, Mark, he's coming. Look. I said, I'm starting writing the book you've been wanting to write. He said, okay, Mom, I got to go meet the contractors. And that's the last, you know, that's the last I told him about the book. Never talked to him about the book anymore. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you wrote a second book. Yes. Um, my first book, I had a lot of pictures in it because of Katrina, you know, those things. See, people don't realize, you know, we came back from tr- Katrina. It was like we came back to a third world. That's the way I felt. Yeah. My, my neighbor was in the attic, the sea. I didn't even know it. And uh, we Your came neighbor? back to a third world. Yeah, my neighbor. And uh, we begged him to ride, and we would take him where he wanted to go, but he did not want to go. So we just couldn't mm-hmm. make him get in the car. We were just going to drop him off by his. He refused right. to go. So we came back. He was, they, well, we were found out later. We didn't know it at the time. And he was in the attic because he went up to the attic to try to escape the war. And, uh, but anyway, well, you know, going through it? that process. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He no, he didn't make it. Mm, he didn't make it. Mm. Oh, wow. He was yes, oh, he was is... Oh, my God. There was so much. We didn't that know going. it until after. We didn't know it until right, after. Right. You know how they. Mm-hmm. We was, right. I didn't want another. Right. I think he'd been up there for weeks, you know. Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Sherry, are you still in the same house that, you know, you were able to go back to? It? 
Well, after my son's death, my mom, the house was kind of large, and my mom, just, we just really felt better. We moved, She wanted to move, move to a second, a one floor. So I just, okay. we just moved out of the house. Oh, it was really too large for us, and you know, it was a break-in after, after, at, while I was at the film, and I think it was through contractors. You know, oh, girl, so you're I, kidding me. Oh, my God. Adding yeah. insult to it. Oh, yeah, well, God. I had to call the school. It was in there. I didn't really know people was going to pick it up, but they did. <laughs> but they're in national mm-hmm. news, but it was $17,000 stuff was stolen. But, uh, so they anyway, knew the we film was that day, so they came to your house. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Sherry. I had no idea. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, when you Google the name and go under there, it's, here, it's got a, a article on it. Her house, Miss Hill, Marquis' yeah. house was uh, just I know and I hope they caught him. Mm-hmm. I hope they caught him. I mean, somebody should have saw something. I mean, you know, oh, my God. That's well, awful. Well, we think it was had something to do with the contractors. They knew what the deal was, so that's what happened. We pretty okay. much have an idea who it was, you know. But, you know, you mm-hmm. never have the answer. You know, people don't never say, but because it was a lot of empty homes around there, so there wasn't really too many people could watch. You know what I mean? Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Right. So at that point, still a lot of houses that were empty. Okay, I, right. I see. Matter of fact, both houses on both my sides were empty. Okay, so I they see. Off the lake and they weren't right next door. You know, they could have easily put something somewhere in the empty house and hid it. I think that's what happened. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. So, Sherry, you still mm-hmm. were resilient. You still kept on going. And so then you get to your final book, I mean, your latest book, not your final book. I know you have more books than you. So you got to your latest book, right? Journey to Mount Freedom, yes. Journey to Mount Freedom. That was yeah. my, that's the story. And I included my three little pups in there, Snowy, Precious, and Mimi. And I only so what have Snow. About, the Sherry, what is that yeah, what is that book actually about, uh, Journey to Mount um, Freedom? My son, I took my son on an imagination trip when he was 10 years old because he was fascinated about uh, Mount Rushmore. Okay. And I said, oh, Marquise, I said, guess what? They have a, uh, they have a uh, Mount Freedom. I said, I'm going to take you on that. But he didn't know what I was talking about, so that's why I came up with the idea. And so I took him on an imagination trip. We leave Louisiana and we go to Mississippi, to Jackson, to the Mount Freedom in, in Mississippi. And there you'll see Emmett Till, uh, Swanee, Goodman, and Cheney, and so on. <laughs> and we talk about it. That's what it's about. I see. Oh, okay. So is it a children's book and where can Purchase. Yeah, it's a children's book, and we leave, once we go there, we discuss what they did, and then we leave there and go to Alabama. And okay. there you have that's a big mountain. Um, and it was all these years that I was in school, and when they talked about the bombing in Birmingham, I didn't. I always thought it was just four girls in the bombing. I didn't know it was five. So it was a fifth girl. And yeah. she still lived. Uh huh. And it was two boys killed at the same time. Those girls was bombed. They have it in the museum now, but I didn't know that for all these years when I was growing up. But uh, mm-hmm. I include these books. So you got you have I I we go basically what happened. Uh-huh. Okay. And all but of yeah, them have you, something. To all me. It's actually, actually, there were kids in there, uh, but four of them passed away. Uh, is what the how the story reads, but um, yeah, they were like in Sunday school, I believe, or something, right? Yeah, but you know, they bombed the back of the church, the side of the church. It didn't hit the front of the church. You know, it's the 16th Avenue. They got all that sitting over there when you go yeah, to Birmingham. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see, the bomb was tore up the back part of it. It didn't hit the front. But uh-huh. it was five girls in there. It was two sisters. This one of the sisters added me Collins, I think she was the one that was killed, but her sister is the one that survived. She have a book out called The Fifth Girl. Yeah, the five girls, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, oh my God! It just—I mean, just so much hatred and in the world. I included, I included my uncle's sister 
who was raped by six white men in 1944. Mm-hmm. She just passed the one that Oprah Winfrey was talking about on uh, when she got received the Global Golden Globe Award, Lisa Till. Okay, you said that's in your book. Uh, that's in that journey yeah, from freedom. Yeah, I included her in that. That's my uncle's sister mm-hmm. okay. in honor of her. Because I met her. We met, my mom and I was able to meet her while we was dislocated for Katrina. She came up to visit us. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, so yeah but she... To, uh, hold on one second, Sherry. So if you're just tuning okay. in, this is the Loretta Petit Show, Women Winning at Life, Women Winning at Life, Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace because we are strong because we are powerful, because we have mental agility, because we are resilient, and because we uh, don't want and will not be subdued, told we can't, and stopped in our tracks. So we are winning at life because we decide in our minds that we're going to go forth and we're going to live to our fullest potential and be all that we can be. So today I'm talking to Ms. Sherry Hill she is the mother of NFL player Marquise Hill, who passed away a few years back um, from a crazy accident uh, on the waters of New Orleans, Lake Pontchartrain, actually. Uh, so uh, she's talking about her latest book, uh, Journey to Mount Freedom. And you said, Sherry, it is a children's book and it is available. And where is it available? It's on Amazon. And it's for it's for advanced readers, or maybe second, third, fourth, you know, on up. But a grandmother oh. or grandfather can read to their kids, and I also have a coloring book in it. That's for the lower oh. grades. Oh, you covered everything. Uh huh. And it's all. Well, see, I was a first grade teacher, so for years, and I I just really I'm an adamant person about education, so. Yes. That's something that I wish they would have had when I was, you know, I was teaching school with children because we don't never talk about our ancestors and our history. And yes, I mean, this should. book could really go on and on, but I had to stop it at a point. But I want to include a lot. I would like to do other types. I might do a series on it. You know, I'm thinking about doing that because it's so many. It's so many. Uh, so much, so much history. Our, our, our root in history is so rich, and our yes, children ma'am. don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, let's check and see if there's any calls on the line. I, I did not say the lines would be open. I didn't give a number, but sometimes, you know, from the past, they have the number. Is there a call no, on ma'am. the line? And if not, here's the number. If you want to call and ask Sherry a question, or you maybe just have a comment, the number is 646 646- Five six four nine eight four two. We've got a couple more minutes. Six four six five six four nine eight four two. If you have a question, you can call it in. Some people may say, "Girl, you said that too fast." I know. Write this number down and keep it with you. Six four six five six four nine eight four two. If you have a question, we've got a couple minutes left. So, Sherry, anything you'd like to say as we wrap it up today? Um, about, you know, where you're going with some of the, I guess, vision and dreams yet left inside of you, Uh, you know, it's good that we pursue. And where are you headed? What are things that you want to do? Well, like I say, I really want to keep my son's legacy alive or, you know, and do have some kind of partnership with what's going on in the world like this criminal justice system and court system is broke. It's not broke. It's just the way it's been set up. It's not broke. Mm-hmm. I, I was somebody that said it on TV. So I really want to work toward that because I have experienced that even with my son. My son was arrested with 100 scholarship offers because he was called a nigger. And he mm-hmm. turned his back and went away, and he was in school when this happened. He was not in at the school he attended, but he was on a track meet. And it was really, it was really racism and wretched. It was awful. I mean, I felt like I was walking back in time when I had to go and defend my son. The lawyers work with the court system. The judges work with the court system. And they give our children all these charges. 
And and I, I I can sympathize with these people that's been killed and how they've been through the criminal system. You know, and I'm mm-hmm. not saying everybody is right. You know, they, they do these you do these criminal activities and believe me, if you do the crime, you do the time. But it's a yes. lot of dirty wrongness that's going on in this judicial system and the, not only is the police, it's the whole system is racist and it's wrong. Well we so I, I think that I really what all the marching is about. Uh, sure, our time huh. is up, but we're going to try and change it. That's what all the marching is about. I'd love to have you come back again at a later date. But my time has come and gone, lady. Praise God. I'm just so excited about the things you have done, and I know that there's more in you. And, um, you know, I'll be praying about that, keeping Marquise's legacy alive. Maybe there's something I could drop your way that would maybe incite a new vision inside of you, too. You never know. But thanks for being my guest, Miss Sherry Hill. I do appreciate it. And one final sweep, is there a caller on the line today? If not, we're going to go ahead on and move straight on out. All right. Well, I have so, a, a, website, a website just for it. It's nflsherryhill.com. I want to say that. Sherry, it's S-H-E-R-R-I. S-H-E-R-N-F-L-SherryHill.com. That's all. You just go to that website, everything. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Sherry is spelled S H E R R I Y Y Y S H E R R Y. Okay, Sherry N F L Sherry Hill dot com. Correct. So okay. in closing today, I want to remind you tomorrow is Juneteenth, and in the words of uh, Bob Marley, he said, "Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves mm-hmm. can free our minds." And my final thought is this. You cannot enslave a mind that knows itself, that values itself, that understands itself. This has been the Loretta Petit Show, Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. My name's Loretta Petit, and I'm winning at life. Bye-bye. Bye.